Hey everyone, guess what time it is? Shadow of Judgment. What is Shadow of Judgment? This is where we, of course, look and see what kind of dark things are underneath the surface, what kind of secrets might be going down around you with you or your shadow side self, or someone you're dealing with that's in your shadow side. Basically, those little dark secrets you might not be aware of, or the things that are lurking behind the scenes. We're going to see which sign we're going to do first fire you're up aries step up to the goddamn plate dude remember fire signs this is for sun moon rising venus as well as jupiter in this version so this is resonates with you good deal if not don't worry about it aries you're up first what's going on with your shadow side we got security And possibly an unfaithful spouse as the motives. Right? It's trying to work things out somewhere in a work environment. Could have also been like a workplace situation. This person could have been way more secure with whatever. Where on this side, the woman might have been a little bit of a hussy. Just a little bit. Oh, that one just did acrobatics. Now, there's the past. Someone being paranoid about their ways. Something has to yield. Someone isn't offering their cup. Burdens aren't being released at this point. Ew. Ew, Aries. This is kind of harsh. Okay. Aries, let's look at your shadow. Right, You got security, but that was in the past and someone isn't offering their cup now. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that you were once in a romantic relationship. Now, something could have happened where, like, there could have been, like, people working together to get things done. Could also talk about a workplace romance as well. But something had to yield or be surrendered because everything was at a crossroads. And at some point, somebody caused somebody else to walk away after their shitty mind games. Uh, because this person became unfaithful became paranoid about their unfaithfulness and then they had to release that burden somehow like it was getting too heavy to carry it still is and now everyone's just sitting here looking over all the shit that happened just being like what the fuck <laughs> right but this is definitely people trying to come and work together on things but at, at some point like someone just manipulated other people to just start walking away from them like at first it seemed like a good idea but now it's kind of like they're looking back on everything and being like oh shit right that's your shadow of judgment aries so watch out for that okay leo it is your turn let's see what kind of shadows are around you Ew. yours just came straight the fuck out there's an Empress here, could be Aries, Libra, Taurus, very Venus energy. Who oh, he's lost your fucking mind. Okay, perfect. Okay, we got Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, Reverse. Hmm. Okay, Leo, so far... You have your thoughts on somebody, probably like either a mother figure or a mother person that you kind of want to work things out with. The problem is, is like somebody is crazy and they want to get out of their crazy. It's like something's causing them not to be able to think on a grounded, logical level.
Oh, dude, I'm so mad. They, like, I think got rid of Mr. Momo's channel. That was the Japanese one I was listening to. I loved it. Um, someone's been looking for a proposal to stick around, but someone isn't expressing any sort of communication whatsoever. Um, this crazy person does want to work things out. Let's see if we can get two more or not. Yep. Perfect. Someone snooping over here. Is it being a con man over here? Not even paying attention to it. It could be a connection that is really deep. Could be dealing with Gemini or even a lover situation. Some sort of connection that you have with somebody on a very deep spiritual level. But it's like, um... There's this motherly figure that someone has their brain on, but they aren't really trying to talk to them either. Like, they have all these cups in front of them, and they don't even know how to approach it. It's like they're trying to worry. It's like they're trying to almost concern themselves with other heart matters instead of worried about this cup that, that, that came directly from the Empress. They don't want to communicate with it. They're becoming arrogant. And it's kind of like they're lying to themselves almost. Now, they want to work things out on a proposal to stick around or whatever. But they're just not sure about that choice. Now, this Queen of Swords could also be the Page of Swords as well. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? And she is a queen, but when she's all corroborated, like she turns into a sword, just looking for shit, trying to get information, thinking too much. She wants to come out of this energy and actually work things out as well. But it seems like this person's like working more on what establishes money. And this person is too, but they, it's kind of like they want to work together. The problem is, like, people just be saying nasty shit, and people just be ignoring shit that's important. That's your Shadow of Judgment, Leo, for this week. Fuck around accordingly, of course. Alright. Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you, my loves. Dude, I tell you, Sagittarius, it seems like you guys are just having a really hard time, like, connecting with yourselves. Y'all need to go on a, a fucking adventure and explore places you've never been to and just fill your life up with doing shit instead of worrying about, I don't know, finding a place in the world. Like, there is no places in the world. Nobody has a place in the world. We're just born here. And then people get mad because we complain about the lack of space. You know? Go out and find some space. That's what I think some of you need to do. Go have fun. Do something without the concern of other people involved. I guarantee you it'll help you relax a little. Especially if you don't have to worry about coming back at a decent amount of time. Fuck yeah, you do that. Alright. First we got someone not feeling like a victor. And... They don't want to work on anything. See, that's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, that is you guys... <laughs> right now it's like you don't feel like you have a victory because it, it, it like it's almost like you feel like something didn't get worked on correctly but this is your shadow so we're gonna see what's going on oh yeah no passion no passion whatsoever to work on anything you don't feel like you are victorious and whatever so it's like you don't want to work on anything um it's too much of a burden to be a loser to you and it's got you all impatient you feel like if you work on it it's not gonna work fast enough but that's also indeed pissing you off a little bit or whoever this is for you in your life and it's like, it's like the lack of passion is definitely causing someone to be bitter definitely someone's all kebab related <laughs> that's my new word Ooh. you still want someone with you though Who you might have pushed away. Just putting that out there. Because <laughs> that's what it's kind of looking like. And, oh, someone's definitely trying to be grounded when it comes to home situations. Alright, 
So, someone feels like they're the loser, or they have an enemy in their house, and they can't keep, let their guard down. It's all a burden. It's too much when it comes to this relationship, but they're still trying to keep their head on straight. Uh, it could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in this. This is probably the most mature so far. Um, we got the Knight of Wands here. They don't want to do anything, but it's making them mad because they're expecting, like, commitment or whatever. Probably from this relationship, which is just kind of like, you know, you don't have any passion to work on anything. You don't think that it'll work out? Perfectly fine. This is your card, Sagittarius. That's why I'm saying you more than anything. And it's like, when you want to get close to somebody, it's like you freak out. And then you decide you're just going to start fucking with their heads until they walk away. Almost like you're telling, like... It's almost like convincing your these people that they don't give a fuck about you convinces you when they do finally stop giving a fuck about you that they never did in the first place. Which is not true. It's that you had a sh well, well yeah, it, this is shitty attitude. It's like you had a shitty attitude towards them to begin with anyway. And then you started doing fuckhead shit. And that's why they walked away. You know, people can only take so much of someone's bullshit before he's just like, you know what, why am I lowering myself just for somebody else? One of those things, right? But it really wasn't lowering yourself as much as it was, like, trying to figure out if you two are compatible, which is what the Queen of Swords is for. But the thing is, is, like, you know, if you're going to sit there and analyze... A connection with somebody just kind of like over here you're going to cause some distress because people don't like being examined like people hate being watched <laughs> you will people do not like their morals or beliefs or whatever questioned that is what I've learned they just want to believe whatever the fuck they want to believe just let them but don't go and like try to convince somebody of something just to confirm your own shit you know but that is yours, Sagittarius. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want a personal reading, my email's in the description below. I don't charge, but take donations and tips off of PayPal. You have a good day. Um, fuck around accordingly. Don't get in trouble, or at least don't get caught. One of the two, right? Bye-bye.